Hi guys, thanks for watching. Today is going to be a glitterati haul. <clears throat> I'm extremely sorry. I'm sick. Uh, I probably sound stuffed up. I was really sick. I can breathe through my nose a little bit. So I'm going to do this video because this is actually my sister's glitterati box. But I just did a video about glitterati and it was my older sister's box. Which she sold me the entire thing due to needing her money and just not wanting to spend the... Um, what was it, 50 something, $50 and 76 cents, uh, is how much this one was. So about 50 bucks on wax. So I just did that haul. Well, this is my younger sister's box and, um, she got this box. It went to her house, obviously, she, you know, whatever. And she asked me if I would buy the ones that she did not like. Um, she wrote down the ones that she does like on a list. So I think, I don't know how many... I'm just reading her little her little note here. I don't know how many she's gonna want to keep between three or five of them, and I'll just tell you about them. <clears throat> she's kind of like a fresh, clean fan, so bakery naturally was not gonna be for her. My uh, the box that I just got from my older sister, that one was like primarily bakery. If you watched that haul, so I was I messaged my younger sister and I'm like, just like be prepared that there might be quite a few bakery blends. But I was actually like browsing in the group and seeing what people are melting and that type of thing. And I saw a lot of people hauling some of these scents that my younger sister did end up getting, um, which are different than the like bakery scents that my older sister got in her box. I'm going to be called up probably sometime this summer. I know my number was higher. Uh, we were all pretty lucky to be lower on the list. Um, I don't remember what my sister's numbers were, but I think I'm like maybe a little under 400. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> just waiting to be called up. Um, but it's a lot of money to spend on wax when you get a mystery box. Um, I will, I did in that video link the Facebook group down below. So I will do that again in this video. You can um, join the Facebook group. But the only real ways that you can get Glitterati were to be if you were already on the custom list, which was created years ago. Um, people create, uh, when they're called up for the customs to do custom scent um, ordering. They place really large orders because it's so hard to get, so they want to spend, you know, save, save their money, set it aside, and place a really big order because they don't know when they're going to get the chance to order again. I completely understand that. I would do the same thing. Um, and because of that, it takes longer to get through each person on that custom list because she's doing really extensive custom orders. So you would already have had to be on that list. You either are or you aren't. Or you sign up in February for the mystery box list, which is this, where you get 12 chunks. They're three fifty dollars a piece plus the shipping cost, so it's $42 for the box, plus the cost of shipping to you. The owner is Janine, by the way. <clears throat> and um, again, I'm really sorry. I was so sick this week that I haven't been able to like really melt anything or smell anything, and you know, I'm finally like starting to be on the mend where I just have like a sinus headache and it's not so terrible, but yeah, anyway. Um, you had to be on that list that was open in February where you could just sign up to potentially, you know, like be called up to be able to buy a box. Or if you're in the weekly drawings on Sunday, the first Sunday of the month is for new people who have never gotten Glitterati, like won a box before or been able to purchase or whatever. Um, new to Glitterati people <clears throat> goes on the honor system. And then the other three or four, depending on how many weeks are in the month. Um, are for anybody and it's at 2 p.m. Central time. It goes from 2 to 2.30. You can sign up on that list and then she randomly draws like 15, 20 people or something like that to be able to purchase a box. So sorry for those who already know that and uh, this is just rambling to you or white noise but uh, I figured I would mention that for someone who's just stumbling across this video. She does send Twizzlers. I don't know why my sister didn't keep those. She, <laughs> she could have given them to our kids. I will give them to them. I actually don't think the kids... The kids like Twizzlers. They're four and six, and I think like licorice probably isn't like the funnest candy for a four or six year old. Um, <clears throat> they taste the ones that um, my older sister from my older sister's box. I ate them and they tasted completely different, but they were hollow in the middle. So I like used one to be like my straw and was like t such a little kid about it. Okay, so I will tell you the ones that my sister liked as we go through. But I'm gonna start in this top corner here. And I, I don't have the scent descriptions, but I will just tell you what I think. And again, this is coming from a sick person's nose, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, and I realize, again, that this is not super helpful because you can't directly order these scents, but maybe you can find them in a D-stash or keep your eye out for, you know, someone selling them. Or if 
you know, you're trading, if you have ones to trade. I know people trade. I think I've traded once for some, someone who was looking for something that I had and then I traded, but um, I, I just, I'm not interested in doing that anymore. I would just sell the ones I don't want. But anyway, this is Love Spells and Lemon Drops. This is a very popular scent. I actually, I don't, I think I've had this and I'm pretty sure I de-stashed it. I, I don't think I've ever, I mean, I know personally I've never melted this. So it's Love Spell, which is Victoria's Secret Love Spell dupe. If you know that scent, then you would know what it smells like. And then it's just a lemon. It's mostly like a sweet lemon, lemon drop. I expected it to smell a lot more like Love Spell uh, than it does. But this is one that my sister liked, and so she is going to keep that scent. So here's that one. It smells really good. It smells a lot better than I thought it was going to. I... People rave about that one, and I just, I wasn't sure. But my sister really likes lemon scents, so I'm not surprised. <clears throat> Another one that she liked was this one, Blue Water Orchid. And I may, I may have this scent. That smells like Bath and Body Works. That's got to be a Bath and Body Works scent for sure. Yeah, that's without a doubt a Bath and Body Works scent. A body care scent. It smells really good. Why do I feel like I have that? I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. I have Blue Water Orchid Pina Colada. I didn't smell it, but I can tell you I kept it for a reason. I de-stashed ones I don't like. I kept that one, so I must have liked, liked it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like a fresh ocean aquatic uh, body care scent. It's definitely body care and less like ozonic, but you do get that fresh, summery ocean water. Um, there's definitely like a floral that makes it more feminine and body care-esque. It's very like smooth too. Uh, I don't want to say like powdery, but it's why I feel like I own that body care. Why do I not know that scent? Blue water orchid. Blue water orchid. Anyway, so she she's going to keep those two. And uh, let's move on. Cider Lane Fallen Leaves. I just knew she wasn't going to like this. This is, Cider Lane is um, a Bath and Body Works dupe again. Fallen Leaves, I don't think is related to that. Okay, this I expected to smell mostly like Cider Lane. Pleasantly surprised. I haven't smelled any of these, by the way. That smells really good. That is, it doesn't really smell like cider lane at all. I smell fallen leaves, whatever that is. Oh, it's kind of green. I get like almost like a grassy, it's definitely like outdoor fresh. There's a fall, a fall vibe to it, but you almost smell like a little bit of green grass too, where things still smell not dead and dry completely, but still with some life. It's like the beginning of fall. I get like the tiniest hint of Cider Lane, but honestly, that's not Cider Lane heavy. I really like that. That smells awesome. Yeah, that one smells really good. I'm a fan. Now, I've melted, to be honest with you for a second, two Glitterati scents recently. And I don't like, I don't like either one of them. So that's <laughs> disappointing, by the way. I'm trying to be better with my Glitterati. I do eventually want to pull out the chunks and slice them into fours so I can just, they're very messy, uh, so I don't know if I'll really be able to do that if that's realistic, but I, I do want to try and melt more Glitterati. I've just got other, I feel like Glitterati lasts a long time, but again, I haven't melted enough to really be able to say that truly from my experience, like Glitterati, Glitterati really lasts a long time for me, um, but I've heard that it's, you know, has a good shelf life, and so I just kind of put it on the back burner and think of it as like this gold, <laughs> that I stockpile and hoard and um, I need to be better about it because like I said I just melted two cents and I actually don't even like them so I'm going to de-stash the, the rest of them or pass them on or do whatever I'm going to do I'll probably just put it with a de-stash that I'm going to de-stash sorry I'm rubbing my eyes okay back to the task at hand this is a really pretty color I, I for some reason I don't really like taking these well, I shouldn't say for some reason. I know why. I know the reason. These are really messy. The wax is super soft. 
your bags will be messy. That's just how it goes. But for some reason, I really don't like taking these out of the, um, my nails are gross, out of the bag. It's like melting with my body temperature right now. Um, but they're very pretty. They're usually, oh, that smells really good. Um, a base color, obviously with diff a different color chunk. Holy smokes. I did not expect to like that. Okay. This, so my sister wrote like, which are the ones she wants to keep. And then she wrote okay to ones that are like, meh, she's not so sure. I kind of hope she doesn't want this one because I really like this. I did not think I'd like this. I was like, oh, you go ahead and take that one because I'm not a fan of white tea. I have to cough. Okay. I'm sorry. I like almost coughed all over that before whatever you guys before being able to pause, but I'm not a fan of white tea. <clears throat> it's always dry. It makes my throat itch, <clears throat> which is kind of funny considering like I'm coughing right now, but it has like a dry floral, I don't know, scent, almost like a stale scent that I don't appreciate. I need to stop for a second and like get a drink of water and fix myself. Okay. So right before I <laughs> started filming this video, I was watching the twins game or baseball and eating jalapeno chips, which... I love my weakness, like my chip weakness, other than Cool Ranch and Dill Pickle Chips. Those are like my three favorite chips. But jalapeno, jalapeno chips are my um, my weakness. I love trying all different kinds. Honestly, my favorite kind, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's jalapeno chips, they are the best. I wish you could buy them from the store, <clears throat> but I purposely go to Jimmy John's, not even for the sandwiches, which are very good. I get that on which, but I love the jalapeno chips. So there's that. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, they're spicy and they make my nose run and like my sinuses go act crazy. So, all right. So here we are back in action. So I smell a little bit of that white tea scent, but the seamist in this is just, I just really like it. It's not something I would ever like think I would like. Although, <clears throat> I think I'm going to convince my sister to keep this because I think that she'll enjoy it more than I will. But it is a fresh, salty, sea mist type scent. And then you do get that like dry floral. White tea scent. If you're a white tea fan, um, like in wax, I feel like you really, really like that. Um, I see people going crazy for the white tea scents and again, I'm just, I'm not a white tea fan in wax, so, um, they're just too floral. <clears throat> so as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to take <laughs> some cold medicine and lay down and melt some peppermint or something, uh, and, uh, just rest for a little bit, but let's keep going. So the next one's lavender, buttermint, vanilla bean, Noel. to be honest, I'm really, uh, surprised that my sister did not write this down as one that she likes. She's a pretty big lavender fan. I, I'm i torn about this. I This smells like my Rockets loaf, which is lavender, buttermint, and vanilla bean Noel. And I have a feeling whoever custom made this probably had that scent and maybe really loved it and decided to custom make their own. The buttermint in this is like, oh, just to die for for me. I just, I love it. But I don't like the herbalness of the lavender, and so I'm really torn. Here's the thing. I have a chunk of this. I just went through as I put the last haul in. I pulled out chunks to de-stash. I have some stuff from that haul to de-stash, and then some other ones that I just decided, you know what? They gotta go. Um, and this was one of them. And now here I am smelling this again, and I'm like, oh, it smells really good. I just don't like the super herbal lavender. I wish it was like a creamier lavender, but man, that buttermint. It just makes it creamy and sweet and like that hint, you know, like buttermints have that hint, just the hint of mint. It smells really good. Um, I don't want to hang on to something that I don't love. So that one may be de-stashed and it's not on my sister's list. So I'm assuming she doesn't want it. Next one is, I'm sorry, this is a long video, <laughs> Jet Setter Brown Sugar Cupcake. Now, in my last video, I was like, I don't know what this scent is. I don't know what this scent is. I'm going to look up the scents 
in her file and I will list them down below. Not all of them, but like the, like I'm not going to do love spells and lemon drops because love spells of VTS, uh, vintage chic, no, oh my gosh, Victoria's Secret dupe, but Blue Water Orchid, I'll probably write the description for that one. I'll probably look up Fallen Leaves um, and then whatever Jet Setter is, like that type of thing if I don't know what it is. <clears throat> so this is Jet Setter Brown Sugar Cupcake. Okay, this smells familiar. Hmm. You get a hint of the brown sugar and a hint of a bakery note. This is a lighter one. And if I'm, I'm always like, if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, I say that too much now. But if I, if I am being honest, I can't really smell this one very much. I took, I took it out to try and see if I could smell it more. There's something oddly similar about it that reminds me of a fall Bath and Body Works candle. Pumpkin cupcake? I don't think so. It has a fall vibe. I just smell a hint of the brown sugar and a hint of cupcake and then some nondescript like scent that reminds me of Bath and Body Works for some reason. I don't know what Jet Setter is though, but maybe it'll come together for me when I see what that is. <clears throat> it's nice. It's just super light. I don't really expect that one to be strong. Uh, Black Cherry Merlot. Also Bath and Body Works dupe. Whoever was doing this custom order really wanted Bath and Body Works dupes. And I had high hopes for this one. I don't know. I don't really like it. I'm not going to like this. I don't like this cherry scent. I'm really picky about cherries. Now, I love the Black Cherry Merlot soap. I did buy a candle recently that I want to try again. I've burned the candle in the past and did not like it. It was too... Mm, the kind of cherry I didn't like. This just seems like the kind of cherry I don't like. It's not... It's definitely not Black Cherry Merlot soap. Um, it does smell similar, but not exact. And I'm just not, not a huge fan of that one. So that one's, that one's going to go. Pineapple Candy Kisses Citrus Sunrise. This one is one my sister wants. So let's see what it smells like. Oh, jeez, what the heck? Oh my god. That was the hardest thing open. Fruity. Ooh. I smell the juicy pineapple. Other than that, it's kind of like a fruit punch, fruit punch, pineapple, a little bit of citrus. I don't know what Candy Kisses is. Is that one like a pink sugar blend? That smells very juicy and fruity. It smells really nice. It's one that I would keep uh, because I think it, I love that juicy pineapple. Um... So, yeah, I think my sister's really going to like that one. Summer's Day Violet Sugar Cookie. This was one that she wrote okay, so I don't know if she wants it or not. Oh. That's a weird, very weird blend. It smells good, though. Oh, okay. This is Summery. I don't know why it reminds me of daisies. This is... There's something... I mean, summer's day. There's definitely something summery about this. It's floral. There's like a nice bakery from the sugar cookie. This is a weird scent. But I, I think it smells really good. Reminds me of something. I 
feel like I could smell this for a really long time and just like ponder what is in it. It smells really good. It's a weird blend, but it smells good. I hate to mention other vendors. Actually, that's not true. I don't really care because it's like mentoring, mentioning brands versus brands. So it's not that big of a deal, but there's something when I smell this, it reminds me of super tarts and I have no idea what scent that would be. It just reminds me of something from super tarts. Maybe it's the sugar cookie oil. I don't know. I really like that one. I hope my sister decides she doesn't want that <laughs> because that's, just a it's a really unique blend there's the, the summer's day again I will have a like description down below violet is obviously a nice floral it's not um too wild or crazy um I'm not really a fan of violet and wax uh or violets in wax certain violet oils I like and other ones I just absolutely hate it doesn't have the one that I hate in it I would be able to tell that like super easily um the summer's day is just I don't know. And then that sugar cookie just adds this like nice comforting bakery scent. It just kind of reminds you of like, I don't know, a summer's day picnic or like you've got all the windows open, but you're also baking cookies on a summer's day. It's super comforting. Like the cookie part of it is very good. I'm really surprised how strong that, how strong that is. Okay. <clears throat> and then Island Heat Blue Cotton Candy. I'll put Island Heat below because I have no idea what it is. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Island Heat. Blue cotton candy. I don't really smell blue cotton candy. I smell kind of like an orange creamsicle vibe but something uh, something that's like off-putting to me maybe there's pineapple pineapple orange creamsicle which I think I would like there's something off-putting like chemically grassy I it's not bad but I don't I don't I don't think I'm a fan of that one Tahiti treat. I'm guessing this is like Tahitian treat. I would love it if it's Tahitian treat. Let's check it out. Yes. It is. But it's not. I thought Tahitian treat was like red and tasted like fruit punch. No, this is like an orange tropical drink. Like orange and pineapple and other tropical fruits. There might even be some fresh scents. It's a very kind of a drink you get on a tropical island. But it doesn't smell like Tahitian treat, the drink. So I, I don't think that is that dupe. <clears throat> it smells nice. I don't know. Okay, I gotta look up the scent notes. I should have done that before. Beaver Tails Bonfire Bliss. And I will have Beaver Tails. Bonfire Bliss is like a smoky marshmallow scent. Hmm. <laughs> I get the toasted marshmallow, that Bonfire Bliss scent. And like a caramely, caramelized fall bakery scent which is the beaver tails scent it's mostly that beaver tail scent predominantly that beaver tail scent but it is nice it's a good one for fall I have a feeling that one's actually gonna have a decent thrill so that is everything I I do like hanging on to the uh, bakery ones unless I absolutely don't like them um, just because I think they're few and far between and I like bakery scents I think they're I'm drawn to them a little bit more. So that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry this video is really long. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And uh, I'm interested to see which ones my sister wants to keep and which ones I get. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for being patient with me while I'm sick. 
and I'll probably be filming a couple more videos sounding like this, so I apologize in advance. But I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.